Susan Finch, and I'm going to show you how to easily create custom thumbnails, see right here, that YouTube wants you to use. It's a great way to brand your videos, create a very clean look for your website, especially if you embed a lot of videos, repurpose them, share them, or if you just want to have your channel look fantastic. So I'm going to show you how to do this without having to use programs like Photoshop or even Canva and pixel this and pixel that. Whatever it is, we're going to do it with Drive. Let me show you how. I'm going over to Google Drive right now. Maybe you haven't used this before, but have you ever used slides? It's kind of like a dumbed down PowerPoint. But we're going to use it to create first or custom thumbnails. Custom thumbnail. I name all my documents, what they are, and then whatever client it's for. So let's say that this one is for Rio. This is my client, Rio Genesis. So I'm going to make them one, and I'll share it with them later. All you do is over here, you can choose any of these themes that you want off to the right. Or perhaps you have some graphic that you already had created or somebody did for you or their logo. We're going to do this two ways. First, we're going to do it this way. We're going to change the background. We're going to go find an image. Find an image. I happen to have one created. Not everybody does. But this is always our base for our videos. Now we can add subtitles or the title of the video. I'm going to make this type white so we can read it. And I'm going to choose a font that is a little more interesting to me. And then I'm going to type in our headline. I've typed in my headline and a subheadline. You can make it, you can see I did italic, italicized it here. I can make this bigger, smaller, whatever I want here. Let's go to 60. Ooh, that's a little big. But it will still fit on the slide. So here's what we have so far. Well, that's the title of our video and what the lesson's going to be about for Rio Genesis. So now I'm going to save this so I can use it on YouTube. So the first thing I do is I say download. Download is a JPEG. I'm going to put it into here. I'm going to call it custom thumbnail. YouTube TH for thumbnail. And then I'm going to call it 40%. Just so, just so I know what this is about. So then anything I do related to this video content, whether it's blog posts, tweets, or anything else, will have this portion of it in the title. I save it in a folder for custom thumbnails on YouTube, because then I know where they all are and I don't have to go digging around looking for them. Now it's saved. It's as simple as that. Then I can go over to YouTube. I can go grab the custom right here. And I can say open, and now look, it lets me select that. That will look so much cleaner to have this as my image rather than some random shot, which is usually not very flattering, that YouTube chooses. And typically, though, if I had Jason as my guest, I would put Jason's head on here and say, oh, interviewing Jason Greenleaf. Something so that people at a glance know that this isn't the same old video we always do. This is a different video with a different guest on a different topic. You would say save changes, and then after a little bit, it would propagate throughout. If you have this video already embedded on your site, and it didn't have a custom thumbnail, it may take a day or two for it to trickle down through all the servers after they've emptied their cache. Some servers and ISPs have a long memory, and it takes a couple days for it to clear out and to realize that, hey, no, she has a new cover for this. Simple as that. Okay, let's try a different way. Now we're going to go ahead and create a new one. I can either create another slide and just do it within here, custom thumbnails, and now I'm going to use one of these little themes. Here's some colors, because I don't have a graphic of any kind, but I do have a logo. Most of you will have a logo to work with, so why don't you work with that? Let's go find your logo. I'm going to upload a high-res logo so that no matter what size it is, it will look good. Keep in mind what your background is. This logo has black type, so I'm going to change this back and have it be the white background. That looks so much better. And look how it automatically changed this for you. Just like PowerPoint does, it, it kind of knows you don't want white on white type. So now I can go ahead and save this 
as its own graphic. So I can have a new title. Here's another title. Here's another video. And maybe here, I'm going to have my guest. So I'm going to go and find his headshot. I can go ahead and put Jason in here. Should have done the red eye correction, but I didn't. So here's Jason's photo. Hopefully your guests will always supply a headshot. You want to make sure that they do that. It just looks better if you can get a decent headshot from them, other than what you just happen to find on Google. And warn them, if they don't give you a headshot, you're just going to make one up. So then you can put in the rest of the description. Okay, I've put a title in here. Now, folks, this is not Photoshop. This is not Canva. This is, you know, not a total graphics program. So you can't really check, you know, change all the letting in between the line height and all that type of stuff. You're going to have to just deal with it. I will show you, though, the difference. Watch what happens with the line break. This is a hard return. Look how much space. It looks like a paragraph. If you do a soft return or a break or a shift enter, it softens it and keeps things tighter. So there are little tricks you'll have to experiment with. Remember, again, it's kind of like PowerPoint light, very dumbed down. But this is the same thing. This specific slide, I can save as, download as JPEG, and it will only save the one slide. Be sure to rename it, though, to make sure that it matches what you need. I hope you found this helpful. This is a great way for your team to be able to work on video title cards. And when you're all done, you can share this. I'm going to share this with my friend Des and say that she can edit it so that she will be able to go in here and choose either of these layouts and then make her new slide for whatever video she has coming up. It might even be training videos that they do internally. Whatever it is, she'll have the tools that she needs to quickly make this without having to get involved in heavy graphics programs. Hope you found this helpful. You can find me at SusanFinch.com. Thank you so much.